Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Biogen's Virtual Community Lab Science at Home. So today I figured we'd show you how to make ice cream because it's getting a lot nicer outside and this is a really cool treat that you can make at home and customize yourself and have many different flavors and colors. So what you're going to need to do this is first you're going to need a container to put all of your liquids in so it could be a glass and you could use a spoon to stir that stuff with. Then you're going to need some milk. Uh, 2% works, whole milk works, whatever you have at home. Um, you're going to need some kind of heavy or half and half cream. Um, you're going to need some vanilla extract or some other flavor. You can use mint if you like mint ice cream and add some chocolate chips. Um, whatever you choose to do. We're going to need um, sugar. Food coloring if you choose to do so. I have red food coloring because it's my favorite color. And then you're going to need a lot, a lot of salt. I have a, just over half a cup of um, core salt. The thicker the salt works a little bit better. Um, then you're going to also need a quart size bag, a gallon size bag, and a lot of ice. So I have here three glasses of ice. Um, I might have overestimated that, but we'll see when we get to that point. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to take your, um, your cup or whatever you're kind of mixing everything inside of, and you're going to measure out half a cup of milk. So I'll take my half cup measuring cup, and I'll pour that in there. All right, and then with the same half cup, Measuring cup, you can also measure out a half cup of heavy cream. That's brand new. All right, so now that's our base. So the next thing you're gonna do is add flavor. So like I said, I'm gonna add vanilla extract because I like vanilla um, and it's what I have here at my house. Um, so you're gonna add just a little bit of that. Um, about a quarter teaspoon, but you can add as much or as little as you want. Um, you can kind of play with the recipe and kind of figure out what works best for you. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that. I'm gonna add my sugar. Because everyone wants ice cream to be sweet, of course, right? And then I'm gonna add my food coloring. So I think only need about one or two drops. Um, you can, like I said, you can play with the uh, recipe and see what works best for you. I'm gonna start with two drops and see how red it gets. So do one, two, just like that. I'm going to stir all this together. Make sure that sugar gets really mixed up inside. Make sure it gets really dissolved. That's kind of like strawberry ice cream. It's uh, an interesting trick. A little bit more food coloring. So four drops total. And that looks good. All right. Now, once you've mixed all of your ingredients together, you're going to take your quart size bag, so the smaller bag, and then you're going to mix, or you're going to pour all of your um, liquids into that bag. So pour that up. Try not to spill it like I did. And then you're going to close your bag up and squeeze as much of the air out as possible without making a huge mess because we all know mom and dad don't need to clean up another huge mess. Good. And now we're going to start by pouring about um, one full glass of ice into our larger bag. So we'll go with that. Maybe go a cup and a half. That's better. And then you're going to want to pour about half of your salt into the bag. I know you might be thinking, why are you doing that? And I'll tell you in just a second. You're going to put your bag of um, ice cream, or your soon to be ice cream into the bag of ice and salt. And then you're going to cover the bag with the rest of the ice and the salt that you have. All right. And then you want to close your big bag up. Leave some air in there so you can actually let the ice uh, float around in there and kind of move around as much as possible. All right. And then you're going to shake it for about five to eight minutes. really mix everything around inside the bag. You want to make sure that you're mixing everything up and kind of getting all of that liquid that's inside the smaller bag to mix around with the ice so it gets as cold as possible and actually turns into ice cream. You can slide it around if your hands start to get cold, start to wear gloves too. Um, I know that it is the end of the winter season so everyone should have their gloves somewhere. So if you need to use gloves, do that so you don't actually leave your hands um, too cold. The 
as you slowly start to do this, you'll see that the, uh, the mixture inside is actually getting a lot thicker and it's actually turning into that ice cream consistency. And the reason that that's happening is because the ice is actually a lot colder than the liquid inside the bag. And now due to physics and chemistry and the way that thermodynamics work, all of the heat from inside of the uh, liquid actually is going to move out into the ice because there needs to be an even distribution of heat. So as the heat moves away from the liquid into the ice, the ice is actually going to start to melt. Um, as you see that it's going to start to melt, you're going to see that your ice cream actually becomes more and more solid because the heat is leaving the liquid inside um, the bag. Alright, so it's been about seven minutes that the ice cream has been inside the bag and it's actually turning into the ice cream consistency. Now it's about, um, probably about done. So what I'm going to do in a second is take it out of the bag and we can get it into our uh, glass. But, another fun fact about the experiment, the reason that we use salt in the very first part with the ice is because it actually lowers the melting temperature of ice. So that means that the ice is going to stay solid for a lot longer to kind of facilitate the freezing of the ice cream. All right, and as that um, ice melts, remember, like I said, the ice cream is going to start getting colder and colder. It's going to freeze and turn into ice cream. So what you'll do is you'll open your bag up. Make sure that your bag of ice cream feels right. Mine is uh, ice cream consistency. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to the sink and rinse it off in cold water really quick. And put it on a towel. And the reason I'm doing that is because remember there is a lot of salt in there and you don't want salty ice cream because I feel like that would just taste very wrong. But you can see that the bag is uh, still clear so that means that none of the ice cream escaped. That means that your ice cream should taste just the way that you made it. So I'm going to grab a spoon, open up my bag, and you can either do two, one of two things. So you can either eat it right out of the bag um, or you can put it into a container which might make it a lot easier to eat and make a lot less mess. But you can see when I scoop it out, now, it actually looks like ice cream, and you can eat it. And it tastes surprisingly like store-bought ice cream. Uh, the consistency is a little different, but you can play with uh, heavy cream versus uh, whipping cream. I believe whipping cream gives you a much uh, creamier, um, what's the word, ice cream, um, because it's whipping cream, so it makes cool whip and stuff like that. But this isn't that bad. So like I said, you can either scoop it into a container and eat it from there, you can put it into an ice cream cone, you can do whatever you want but just make sure you clean up after yourself so mom and dad don't have to. Thank you for joining me on another episode of Biogen's Virtual Community Lab with Science From Home, and I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you make a lot of fun ice cream. Send us pictures of what your ice cream turned out to be and tell us the flavors. Um, leave us any other comments or questions you might have about this or any kind of science question. It was great talking to you guys. I hope you stay safe and have fun at home. See you next time.